guys, today I am doing the Unpopular Opinions book tag. The Unpopular Opinions tag was created by the Book Archer and I was tagged to do this by Mariana at Impression Blend and Kate at Girl Reading. So there are going to be links to all three of those channels down below. So question one is what is a popular book or series that you just don't like? And I never liked the Divergent Trilogy. I picked it up because I was really into dystopia. I thought the premise was really great sounding, but the book completely failed to deliver the premise that I guess I was expecting. I didn't like it from the start. I know when most people say they don't like the Divergent Trilogy, they're talking about they didn't like the ending or they didn't like book two, but they loved the world and the characters. I honestly didn't like anything about that series. I did not like the characters. I did not like the world. Um, another book that is insanely popular that literally everybody I know who has read it loves it is Slammed by Colleen Hoover and I gave that book a one star. And I do have an entire review explaining why I gave that book one star. It was just that my personal taste completely did not line up with the story that was happening in that book. So if you're wondering why I didn't like that before you just start throwing things at me, please watch my review but that is definitely my least favorite read of this year. It just did not work for me. Question two is a popular book or series that everybody else hates but you love. For me the answer to this question was clearly Mockingjay. I really love Mockingjay. I feel like of the three Hunger Games books I liked them all fairly equally to be honest. And I'll admit that I didn't love Mockingjay the first time that I read it but I've reread it several times now and I feel like each time I reread it I love it more and more because I just kind of had to get around the idea that Katniss's point of view being so limited allowed her to have shocks and surprises about the capital's war strategy along the way and I really enjoy that because there's a certain explosive scene in that book that I think it just wouldn't have been a big shock to the reader if we had known more of what was going on so I think that it was effective honestly and also I just kind of had to come to understand that the war taking place in the capital was the new arena and like all that build up in District 13 was like those tours that they used to do that was very synonymous with what had been happening in books one and two with her makeover of her image and the interviews that she was doing with like Caesar Fulgenbrin and I just felt like it really did follow the same formula just in a different setting and I don't know I love it. Question three a love triangle where the main character did not end up with the person you wanted them to or an OTP that you just don't ship. I could say Tristan four for this one as well this basically could be the entire divergent unpopular opinion book tag, but I'm gonna go with um, the Grisha trilogy. There was a love triangle or maybe a love square that happened in that trilogy. There were a few different characters that while they weren't necessarily actual romantic interest in the story, the readers kind of latched on to them as being team whatever whoever and in the end I think that the character ended up with the right match for her in that series and in that world and it made a lot of sense but I just didn't really enjoy that character so whatever. Question four is a popular book genre that you find yourself rarely reaching for. I don't think age ranges are exactly genres but I'm gonna go with new adult for this one because I really have not read very much new adult and most of the books that are new adult they don't really sound very appealing to me and I just don't find myself reaching for those books a lot. Question five this is the worst one. A popular or beloved character that you just don't like. And so for me, this is Arya Stark. I don't like hate Arya, but I don't like her as much as everybody else seems to. People seem to love that Arya is so tough and she's so kick butt and she's so fierce. And you know, those are really good traits to see in a female character. They can be refreshing at times, but I actually prefer her sister Sansa. They're seeing these pretty horrendous things happen and some Sansa deals with it by mourning, by crying, by being sensitive, and she's 13. And Arya, who is like, I think she's 9, what does she do with it? Her circumstances are considerably rougher than Sansa's, granted, but Arya basically becomes a bloodthirsty killer. She's not even killing them really for vengeance, like she's killing them for really petty things. So I feel like Arya is becoming a bit too cold, and I really worry about what is going to happen in the end. Like yes, it's going to be great when she can, when the story actually starts to involve her more hands on. It's going to be great when she can deal a final blow and like actually take on her enemies, but at the same time, 
feel really bad that she is so young and so cold already so I don't know I'm just not as big of a fan of her as everybody else is. Question six is a popular author that you just can't seem to get into. So for this one I wanted to make sure that I have read at least two books by somebody and that I didn't really enjoy either of those books so I'm not gonna count some authors who I hated their book but I only read one book by them so for this one the really the best fit for me is John Green again it's not that I hate him I've only read two of John Green's books and the books of his that I have read which are The Fault in Our Stars and Paper Towns to me they just did not live up to the hype that they are receiving question seven is a popular book trope that you are tired of seeing and I did a top five Wednesday video about the top five tropes I hate recently so I'll link that in case you want to check that out because it really goes into more depth but I very recently read yet another book summary that was like female character has lived in this town her entire life and it's such a boring town until the new brooding transfer student transfers into her school and he may not be what he seems and then he like changes her view on the world over it. I'm so sick of that setup. Question 8 is a popular book series that you just have no interest in reading and I feel like this one's gonna break some hearts but Honestly, the only answer I can fit for this question is The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. Yeah, I've never read them. I know what they are. I'm quite familiar with them, but I just missed those books in my childhood. And I worked in a Christian bookstore when the more recent movies were being made, so I felt like I was quite familiar with the themes and the story, but I have not read the series. I've not read any of the books, and at this point, I just felt like I was exposed to it in the wrong way. I think I would have liked it if I had read them when I was at the right age, but right now, I know too much about it for me to want to go and pick the books up. However, I will say that I do plan to read these books to kids if I do have kids one day. So it's not that I will never read them, it's just that I'm not going to read them on my own at this point. I just don't have an interest in it. And the last question, number nine, is the saying goes that the book is always better than the movie, but what movie do you think is better than the book? Definitely The Maze Runner. I found the writing in that whole series to be kind of a disconnect for me. I wasn't able to really picture things the way that they were being described. Like a lot of the descriptions just didn't make much sense to me. So the movie being a visual format obviously it just kind of solved that problem. I didn't have to imagine it myself. The movie was just showing me. So I really enjoyed that a lot better. I know that some details were wrong but I do think that the movie was a big improvement upon the story and the way that it was told. So I I really like the movie. So those are all the questions in the unpopular opinions of book tag. I actually don't think I'm going to tag anybody in this one because I feel like everyone has done it already. If you haven't done this tag and you want to do it, ask me and I will give you a official tag if you want to be officially tagged. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the comments. Bye!